As a pastor, what are your concerns about folks praying for people to be set free and all of the stigma that goes along with that? Well, I, th I think that was my only problem, especially in the beginning, because as I've said in, in, in early, earlier things we've done, that in the 70s, I, I got interested in it, but immediately that thing ran into a ditch. Mm -hmm. And because what happens, the enemy fights something and tries to keep it suppressed, but then when the ministry started moving, the devil got behind it and tried to push it into the ditch in the opposite direction. So there was great concerns in the beginning when, when you started the journey of studying and, and seeking God about deliverance. But at this point in my life, I know it's real. I know it happens and I know it needs to happen a whole lot more. And so I know that Lisa and her team are well trained. They handle it better than any team that I've ever been a part of. And that's not been many, but I'm as, as a pastor, I'm thankful that God has put a ministry in the River Church that can handle, yes, even those who are possessed or overcome by the demonic.